I'm back with another glow up video. I hope you guys enjoy this gilded eye look. Per usual, you want to make sure your skin is already prepped. I switched it up a bit and used the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy Plus Smooth Foundation this time. This foundation is ideal for normal to dry skin, it hydrates and smooths skin texture, and it leaves a naturally luminous finish, which I love. It also has um, SPF 18 and it comes in 25 shades. To apply it, I'm using the e.l.f. Cosmetics Sculpt and Blend Sponge. Let me tell you guys that for the price point, this sponge is a must. Emphasis on must for sure. <laughs> it's a latex free sponge, which is killer as a makeup artist because sometimes we have that one client that's allergic to latex and you can't use your sponge on her because she might break out. So since this sponge is latex free, it's making your life so much easier and you're still able to give her that airbrush finish. To dampen my sponge, I used um, rose water this time. So I recently got my face threaded, um, cause you'll grow me hairy sometimes. And it left my skin pretty irritated to be honest. So um, rose water is an anti-inflammatory. It helps reduce redness. Um, it gets rid of acne, dermatitis, and it helps with eczema as well. Of course, when you're applying foundation, make sure that everything is blended seamlessly from your forehead all the way down to your neck. So I those were a little crusty, so I just had to, you know, wipe them a little bit. <laughs> I also use the foundation as like an eyeshadow base, and that's why you see me kind of going over my eyelids. Now that everything is nice and blended, I'm going to go in with my highlighter. So I'm using my favorite highlighter, um, which is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. Um, so yes, I use like a conceal and highlight method where I choose a color that's like warm enough so that it neutralizes my under eyes, but bright enough so that I'm able to highlight and kind of knock out two birds with one stone. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I don't really like product on my skin, so the less makeup I have to wear to look beautiful, I will do that. Um, so to apply it, I'm still using the same e.l.f. cosmetic sponge and just kind of tapping the product underneath my eyes. And if you notice, I work with one eye first and then the other because this concealer sets pretty quickly. If you want to know more about it, um, I'm going to leave a link to another video. So if you notice, I also didn't apply any more product onto the sponge. The sponge is literally magical. Like. I don't know how it does it, but it dispenses product onto the skin like so perfectly. It like absorbs just the right amount and dispenses just the right amount. So I didn't have to like reapply product on the sponge and I was able to do both my eyes with the amount of product I applied um, initially. For a little extra something something, I went onto my nose, my forehead, and my chin. And again, just using the product that was kind of left over. So the more you press on the sponge, the more product that gets released. For my brows, I'm using the Maybelline Brow Precise Pencil. So this one is actually pretty good. I actually really, really like it. I'm going to get a little nerdy on you guys. So it has a 1.5 millimeter micro tip, which is great for creating hair-like strokes. Um, and it also deposits the color quite softly, which I'm really, really digging. I honestly prefer it over the other Maybelline pencil I used in my last video. I just feel like the color is just a lot softer, the texture of the pencil is not as waxy, and it deposits the color, like I said, a little bit on the softer end. So just filling my brows in with light strokes. And I also got my brows tinted, so I feel like I didn't have to go 
in on them so much this time. And to soften up the edges to make sure that there's like not a harsh line, I went back in with a sponge and kind of just blend out the outer edge of my brows. This pencil definitely definitely gives you the like maybe she's born with it brow look. For the eyes, in the crease I'm using Texture by MAC and lightly buffing it in. This is the MAC 224 brush, so I'm not sure how the new one is since they like, you know, redid their brush line, but this is one of their old ones and it was personally one of my all-time favorites. Um, so I'm just buffing that color in using small circular motions onto the crease and you can be like pretty free-handed with this. Um, it doesn't have to be like, you know, anything precise that you just want like a really nice wash of color on your crease. And as you can tell, I'm holding my brush quite low on the handle. I feel like this gives you more dexterity in your wrist so that you're able to have a really diffused finish. texture is such a beautiful warm brown. It has a little bit of a sparkle but it's not too like crazy. On the lid I added Telepathy by Colourpop in their Super Shock formula. This color is so beautiful and their Super Shock formula's color payoff is amazing. Just using my fingers to tap it on. You can also wet the color for like a more intense look. To marry both colors together, I went back in with the same 224 brush and blended both of those colors together. For my bottom lash line, I added texture with a bullet brush and just lightly smudged it out. Texture is going to give you just such a beautiful, natural, like, smoke underneath that is wearable, like, during the day, and I feel like it's, like, dramatic enough for, like, nighttime. I mean, you can always, like, darken it up a bit, but texture is just such a pretty color. To blend it out even more, I'm going back in with the sponge. I'm just getting rid of any, um, harsh lines. For a really cute wet finish, I went in with Brown Sugar by Nude Sticks, and this is a highlighter, so it's gonna give the eye like a really beautiful, like glossy look to it. Um, but the highlighter is not too sticky, which is why I picked this specific one because you want it to be wearable. You want it to be like super cute but wearable. To finish it off, I'm going in with my all-time favorite mascara by Glossier. This one is Lash Stick. I really love that the brush is nice and small so you're able to really hit all those lashes on your bottom lash line to give you like this big eye angelic look. And I spend a lot of time on mascara. <laughs> like I feel like I spend as much time on mascara as I do on foundation. Everything else kind of goes by like pretty quickly. But mascara, I just always want my lashes to like look on point. For my cheeks, I'm not using a cream product. Hey, I'm using the Milani bronzer in Soleil. Um, it's just a really beautiful bronzy shade. It has a little bit of shimmer to it, which is cute. It'll give your skin like a super bronzy, glowy look. And it's not too orange, which I love. 
just using a fluffy brush to apply it on the apples of my cheek and then I kind of brushed it upwards almost like contour but not as crazy for my highlighter I'm going back in with brown sugar by nude sticks and just applying it on the high points of my uh, cheeks brow bone tie everything in, I'm applying Balm.com by Glossier in Mint, just to make sure my lips are nice and hydrated and not crusty. And I'm going to top that off with Bite Beauty's Agave Lip Mask, which is just like a super glossy like finish. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Don't forget to hit the like button.